in this video i want to talk you through how you can become more present and become more involved in things that are going around you and in everything that you do now how can you do this well one method is to start focusing on your body and on your senses a little more the fact of the matter is that most of us are so in our own heads that we barely notice half of what's going on around us. We walk in a dream state worrying about work or about relationships and we hardly take time to stop and smell the roses, either literally or metaphorically. So try this right now. Turn off any music that you're listening to and instead just start to notice the sounds around you. I mean, really, really listen. What can you hear? Well, chances are if there's a road somewhere near you, you're going to hear traffic noise. If you're listening to this at home uh, or watching this at home, chances are you're going to hear noises from next door or perhaps from another room. You might hear people talking, music playing, somebody's TV set on, that sort of thing. All sort of subtle things in the background. If you're watching this at work, then you might hear other conversations going on in the room, other people talking or in adjacent offices, or perhaps you're doing this in somewhere that manufactures stuff and you can hear the machines working. You can probably hear telephones ringing or perhaps a photocopier whirring away if you're in an office, that sort of thing. Uh, you might even hear some sounds from the outside, like a road or um, a police car or an ambulance going by. That's the sort of thing that you might hear in the distance. And if you're outside, then you're going to hear all sorts of noises. You're going to hear birds singing. You might hear a dog barking. You might hear snippets of people's conversation as they're walking by. All sorts of different things that you're going to hear, which probably you tune out uh, if you're thinking about something else as you're going through your life, through your daily routine. And likewise, you can probably smell a whole load of things that you hadn't noticed. And if you take the moment to feel your own body, then you can probably notice the sensation of the seat pushing into your legs and into your buttocks. Maybe you can feel the blood filling your face and making you feel hot. Or perhaps there's a wind blowing against you. Is it hot or cold? What direction is it coming from? Listen to the sounds of your own breathing too and feel your abdomen expand and shrink as you do. And once you do this, you'll find that you stop worrying about what's going on around you and start to appreciate your environment a little more. You know, there's so much that we normally miss. You can try doing this on walks too. You know, go for a walk with no music, no phone and nothing else and try just being present and noticing the world around you. It's calming and invigorating at the same time. Practicing being more present in conversation is important because eventually it'll become something that you can just engage in at will. Now you can choose when you want to start listening better to people and digest what they're really saying. You can listen to them rather than the monologue going on in your head. And again, you can leave your other concerns behind. Try focusing on the sensations of your body more the next time that you're being intimate with a sexual partner. You'll find that you instinctively know what to do next and you'll start to be much more passionate and responsive. You'll become a better lover simply by getting out of your own head and you'll feel it far more forcefully. This is true for everything else as well. You know, next time you have a bath or go for a swim, Take a moment to really appreciate the warmth and the softness of the water against your skin. Next time you eat your breakfast on a weekend morning, 
remind yourself how much you enjoy that food and how happy you are not to be going to work that particular morning. And this is what so many of us don't do. So many of us walk around in a dream state worrying about other things. You know, we actually miss what's going on around us. And being stressed and having no control over your mind is doubly problematic because not only does it make us unhappy, but it also distracts us from the things that are going on all around us all the time that could be making us happier. And what it does for our relationships is also fantastic. Right now, being distracted could well be destroying your relationships with family and friends.